have this party inspired makeup tutorial for you. It's something a little bit different for the, I guess, festive season. I know we've all got a lot of parties and events coming up, so I wanted to jump on that bandwagon and get in and show you something a little bit different. I've done a winged liner with a copper pigment and then just deep lips and yeah, I hope you guys like it, so let's get into the tutorial. I'm starting out by using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to create a nice base for my eyeshadow. So just taking it on my finger and spraying it all the way on my lid up until the brow. I am going to set that area with a little bit of loose translucent powder before I go into my brows and I am using a brand new product using the Brow Satin by Maybelline in Dark Blonde. So I'm just going to brush out my brows first and then use the powder end. I really am impressed with this product. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do but I actually really, really love it. So I start off by using the powder side of the tool, then comb it out, and then I will go in with the pencil side and fill in the rest of it, paying a little bit more attention to detail on the end of the brow. And there's the difference, as you can see, like I don't think it looks over the top, but it just looks like a good brow. And then I'm setting it with my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in Transparent. For eyeshadows, I'm using my Lorac Unzipped palette today and I'm using Unconditional as my crease color. Taking on a crease brush and just fluffing it through the crease, just building up the color but not too much and not trying to be too precise, just the crease and out of V. Then I'm taking this color called Undiscovered. It's a really pale gold color, almost champagne. I'm taking that all over the lid. I'm not trying to build up the color too much. I just wanted something on the lid. Then just blending it all together with my crease brush before I go in with Unbridled. This is just a deep maroon color and I'm taking it on the outer V. Just with a smaller Real Techniques brush, just a little bit more precise. And I'll keep building up the color and then I'll blend it out and build up the color a few times until I'm happy with how deep it is. I'm really sorry that I'm looking down. I'm not used to my new filming setup and the tables are a little bit too low in front of me. <laughs> Now for the copper colored liner, I'm taking my MAC Mixing Medium and Vegas Lights Pigment by Makeup Geek and I'm going to make a little formula and then take it on this Sigma brush, I think this is an eyebrow brush, and just create a wing, so drawing it close to my lash line and then winging it out. I am making it a little bit thicker than usual and keep in mind that this product isn't, you need to work quickly with it, so I didn't really work quickly enough, but uh, if you work quick, then it's fine. It can dry and go a little bit flaky and crumbly, so that's why I do suggest working quickly. So just drawing the wing on, and then we can go in with our black liner. I'm using my favorite gel eyeliner lately, and it's my NARS Black Valley Eye Paint. I really, really love this, and this Zoeva angled liner brush, or whatever it's called, it's amazing. So this combo has been my fave and my go-to. Now, just keep in mind that that copper liner may turn a little bit flaky when you're doing this, so just be really, really careful. It actually took me a lot longer than I thought it would to do this part. To clean up those edges, I'm taking a clean angled liner brush and I'm taking some micellar water and cleaning that up there. And then just fixing up the rest of it. Now onto mascara, I'm using my Lash & Line Mascara from Model Co. And I like to go on top of my lashes first just because I have such fair lashes. And then I will mascara my lashes, just my top ones at this point in time. And now onto my base. I'm using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer and just spreading that all over my face to give me a nice glow. I really want a glowy skin today. So to further achieve that, I'm mixing my Laura Mercier foundation in with this liquid illuminator and applying it with my Depth Beauty Blender all over my face.
This has got to be my new fave concealer. It is the Bye Bye Under Eye and Hello Brightener. So I'm taking the Hello Brightener first, and it's by E Cosmetics, and just placing that in all the usual places, and then going in with the concealer just above that to cover up my dark circles right there, and also a little bit down my nose. So the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer is quite thick, and the brightener isn't as thick but you don't need it to be as thick because you don't need the coverage to just brighten up the area i absolutely love this concealer it's so good and it's kind of like a two-in-one product and the doe foot applicator is amazing as well As per usual, setting it with my Face of Australia Translucent Loose Powder and just pressing that into the under eye area and everywhere else where I place the concealer. And I will set the rest of my face with, yup, you guessed it, the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. This one is in Darkest Brown. I'm going to finish off my eyes by taking that deep maroon color on my lower lash line. I'm just going to smudge it out with this tiny, tiny little brush and I'm not going to take it all the way along the lower lash line. Now time for contouring. I'm using this contour color from the dark, medium, medium dark is it? Uh, it's the contour kit by Maybelline and I'm using that shade today. Going around the edges of my face with this Sigma contour brush. I'm using my NYX Terracotta Blush today, an old Anna fave. And then for highlighter, I'm using my Benefit What's Up, which I've been obsessed with lately. So just taking it on my finger and rubbing it on the high points of my cheekbones and of course my little nose. Nope, I didn't forget to highlight my inner corner. I'm using Undercover from the Lorac Pro and using it to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. Now time for lashes. I'm using these Prima Donna lashes by Exo Beauty and I did trim them before I popped them on and just using my Esquito Lash Companion glue. For my deep lips, I'm using this matte lip liquid lipstick by LA Girl, and I'm rather out of frame for this, so I do apologize, but I'm just drawing around the edges of my lips and then filling them in, and I actually really, really love the formula of this, so definitely try them. Now, to give myself a little bit more highlight, because I obviously wasn't highlighted enough, I'm using Champagne Pop by Becca, and that is it. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked the tutorial today. Something a little bit different from me and I really love how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Peace. I reckon he's got a thinner tail than Coco. Your tail. Little cutie. So you see there? You full day? No. No you're not? You left room for dinner? <laughs>